Okay, when you are opening uh, first time your uh, Rhino, it probably looks kind of like this. So you see four viewports. Uh, each viewport is responsible for a little bit different uh, view. So this is top, front, right, and perspective. In perspective, uh, you are generally uh, see um, objects in the perspective. Right uh, in the if you click on the small arrow on the right side of the perspective uh, name, you will have a different uh, view types and also you can set a different um, view so you can make two tops or uh, the wireframe setting i will go for the wireframe some of you per definition have the grid uh, so i will turn it on a grid uh, show a grid uh, yes and um, mm, sorry uh, grid Yes. So um, you have a grid, and now I would like to create a obje uh, an object on it. So I have an object. Uh, now uh, this object it's uh, visible on every, but on every a little bit different. So for example, I would like to zoom to this object. Of course, I can click on every view and roll with my mouse button uh, to find it. Uh, yeah, the orbiting it by the ref, uh, right mouse button. Uh, if you want to move the view in the perspective, it's holding shift and right mouse button. Uh, now, if uh, I want to see the geometry, which is uh, definitely uh, volumetric, so it has a volume, I can change to shaded, then I will see the walls of my uh, box. Um, if I want to uh, zoom, because this is very important because very often we, we lose the track of our geometry. Go here for these two uh, buttons. One is zoom extends. It will extend the view to my, um, uh, to my uh, viewport. And uh, now if you click with the left mouse button, it will extend only in this uh, and if uh, in this uh, active viewport, if I if you will click on this button with the right mouse button, it will uh, extend on all the viewports available on my screen. Uh, alternatively, it's zoom to selected. So if I have many objects, I will just uh, create uh, many objects with quite a different uh, volume uh, and I would like to zoom to this big one then it's very nice to go for the zoom selected and again left mouse button it will zoom only in the active perspective uh, in active uh, viewport right mouse button it will uh, extend the or zoom it uh, to uh, in all uh, important thing is here grid uh, snap or top planner enable us to snap to the uh, grid and the objects so if i will go for the osnap here i have also the um, elements of the objects to which i can snap so if i will click mid uh, i will be probably possible to find the midpoint of uh, this element and create another another extrusion uh, so uh, you see that i can snap to it uh, to to the middle if i will turn off or snap here then i will not be able to catch anything on my drawing so i have completely freedom in uh, creating uh, i cannot snap to anything um, yeah i can also snap to the grid so it's also uh, quite uh, it's much better visible on the front or top view because then I am able to uh, draw and uh, uh, fully rectangular orthogonal shapes.